Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given the system, 0 equals negative 2y plus 10 minus 6x. Second equation is 14 equals, or 14 minus, 22y equals 18x. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this to have all the variables on one side, all the numbers on the other. Okay, So for the numbers on the left, variables on the right. So when we rewrite this, I'm going to subtract the 10 to both sides, giving me a negative 10 on the left, equals uh, negative 2y minus 6x on the right. This one here, I'm going to add a 22y to the right, giving me a 14 left on the left, and then we have a positive 22y uh, and a positive 18x on the right. <clears throat> so now at this point, I'm going to look at it and say, okay, can I multiply one of these equations or both of them by a number to cause uh, one of the variables to get eliminated looking at the coefficients? And I know that. 6 goes into 18 three times, so if I multiply the top number, or top equation, by 3, we can eliminate the x variable, especially because there's a negative right there on 6. So I multiply the top one by 3 to all parts. So 3 times negative 10 is negative 30, equals uh, 3 times negative 2y is a negative 6y, and 3 times a minus 6x is a minus 18x. I want to bring over the 14 uh, equals 22y plus 18x, so 14 equals 22y plus 18x, and that is unchanged. We add these two equations together, okay, top down, okay, so when we add them together, negative 30 plus a positive 14 is a negative 16. Negative 6y plus 22y is a um, 16y. And then negative 18 plus 18 is just 0. So we have 0 right there. Okay. Well, now what we're going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 16 to get y by itself. We don't really care about that plus 0 anymore. Okay. On the right, we have y by itself. And negative 16 divided by positive 16 is a negative 1. And for good measure, we can write y first. y equals a negative 1. So now that we have our y value, we need to plug it back into one of our equations to get our x value. Okay? And so the way we're going to do that, the way I, I see that we can do that, is I'm going to go look at, uh, <clears throat> let's go, uh, let's just go with this one, the second equation. So I'm going to take that 14 minus 22y equals 18x, and we'll plug in negative 1 and for y. So I'm doing so, I have 14 minus 22 times a negative 1 equals 18x. 22 times, well, it's a negative 22, really, times a negative 1 is a positive 22. So we have 14 plus 22 equals 18x. 14 plus 22 is a 36 equals 18x. I'm going to divide by 18 to both sides, leaving me with x by itself, and 36 divided by 18 is just 2. Now, if we want to write x first, we can. It's x equals 2. So now we have our x and our y value. We can write this as a final answer in a coordinate point form of 2, comma, 1. Our x value first, then our y. And there we have it. Our final answer is just 2, comma, 1. So let's recap. We're given our two equations. 0 equals negative 2y plus 10 minus 6x. And 14 minus 22y equals 18x. From there, I, I rearrange it to have um, the numbers on the left and then the variables on the right. Then I looked at it and said, okay, I know I can multiply a negative 6 times 3 to get me my 18, so I'm going to multiply the top equation all by 3. After I did that, I added the two equations together, which eliminated the variable x. That was the whole point. That's elimination. I then divided by 16 on both sides, giving me y by itself to be a negative 1. I plugged that into my second equation. It could have been any one. I chose my second equation. And I plugged that in for y and simplified and solved for x. And in doing so, I got x to be 2. Now I had x is 2, y is negative 1. I can write that as a coordinate point. And our final answer using uh, of the system of equations using elimination is 2, comma, 1, or negative 1.
negative one. 